A woman stepped down from an airplane. She wore sunglasses, lollipop in her mouth. The guy looked at her strangely, laughed. Next the old man secretly stuffed the boy with a pack of medicine. The mysterious smiles seemed all set. The two are a couple. The man is a star, going out with his girlfriend. The second day, Jen was eating apples. Just turned his head and was frightened. It turned out that there were two people holding hunting rifles outside. They stared at her. At this time the man came out to open the door. It turned out that these two were his friends. Jen did not know that he invited others. Richard introduced his girlfriend to the two. Their expressions were strangely weird. They have dinner together. The fat man used Jen's telescope to observe. This woman's appearance is enough to make one be passionate. The man took out a packet of medicine. This is a powerful pain reliever, he said. Even the severed arm won't feel pain. Richard handed the medicine to Jen. The woman hid the medicine in her necklace again. The second day, Jen woke up. Richard went somewhere. She walked out and met a beard man. He welcomed her warmly. Also carefully wiped away the cream stain behind her back. Jen looked around, the fat man bathed in the sun. She talked to the beard man. Every single sentence of this man was not meant well. His gaze was on Jen. The woman was a bit shy, smiling slightly. She told she had to clean up the room. She just went to the bedroom to change clothes. The guy followed her. Facing the guy, she made a somewhat unnatural expression. At this time the man expressed his admiration for her. Jen said she liked tall people. But the bearded man kept asking questions. She said Richard was about to come back. It was very clear that she was reminding the guy. Jen stood up and wanted to leave. The man pushed her to the corner. She was trying to run when the bee. Arded man stopped her. Tears of fear were full in the woman's eyes. At this time the fat man opened the door. Jen's tears streaming down at him. Her eyes were filled with helpless plea. But the fat man took a look, said nothing and left. There was no guilt in his heart. After a while Richard finally returned. Jen said she wanted to go home then. That beard guy bullied her. But the man gave Jen a check. And told her it must be kept as secret this time. She cried and said then she wanted to go home. The man's attitude made her collapse. She picked up the phone and said if he didn't take her home. She would reveal the story there. The man slapped her on the floor. It was very clear that Richard didn't take her at all. The woman got up and ran outside. She knew what it meant to stay. But no more way, only the abyss. Richard said he would definitely take her home. This man pushed her down the mountain. She was caught in a tree above. Each drop of blood fell to the ground. Lots of ants crawled up. On her legs were ants. The woman opened her eyes, she was still not dead. Looking around, not a shadow of people. She saw something on the ground. She raised hand, but did not reach. She tried to take the lighter. And burn the weeds on the ground. Finally burn the branches. The tree was all burned, she fell. Three men went to that place. They were afraid that the woman was still alive. The woman heard the sound of the car and quickly climbed up with pain. She pressed against the wall to avoid the man's view. The three men just saw and were conscious of something bad. If the woman was not dead, they would be dead. They decided to go down to check. When they came down, the woman had escaped. They saw blood stains on the ground. They tracked the blood. The whole road is full blood left by the woman's wound. The people chased to the lake. On the off. Our side, Jen was on the lake, continuing to hold pain. She suddenly heard an engine sound. A car drove over, but the person on the car did not notice. Suddenly the woman looked up. She struggled to climb ashore. The the fat man was searching for her. The man stopped the car to pee. Jen carefully crawled through. Because there was a shotgun in front. She directly held the weapon aimed at the fat man. She pulled the trigger without hesitation. But there was no bullet. The fat man pushed her down. A hard hit to her. He put Jen in the water. Showing his body superiority. The panicked woman pulled out the dagger from her back. She stood up stabbing the fat man twice in the face. Finally the fat man died in the lake. She coldly looked at the fat man. Who expected this was just the beginning. Jen took the fat man's transport. Took away all of his belongings. She went to a cave, pour all the equipment out. Ammo, flashlight and a can of beer. 
she took a powerful painkiller hidden in the chain. She preloaded ammunition for the shotgun. She planned to take revenge. On that bad guy. She detoxified the dagger with a lighter. And stabbed the dagger into the can. Burn the outer shell with fire. Stick it to the wound to avoid infection. On this side, the two discovered the body of the fat man in the lake. They must quickly find Jen. The woman woke up in the cave. She carried all the stolen equipment. In her eyes was full of killing intent. This is definitely a dead or alive battle. She used a telescope in the beard man's car. Leaning on the heel to follow the whole way. When the car ran out of gas, the man pumped gas. He didn't know there was a gun in the dark targeting at him. She pulled the trigger but missed the dead point. And she was jerked back and fell back. Standing up and continuing to search but couldn't find anyone. How frightened she was then. She carefully street. Epped closer to the car. She could only see blood on the ground. The man was seriously injured and ran forward. At that point, the identity of the hunter and the prey had completely exchanged. Jen ran in front, she didn't know the man was behind. With a squeeze, the woman was hit. She got up and continued to run. The bearded man behind kept pulling the trigger. Seeing that he could not chase, he returned to the car. Jen had a gun waiting for him. She stood there like a war god. When the car was about to approach her, she pulled the trigger. Then she got the car. But Richard lost contact with his friends. He felt danger. Back to the apartment, he called a plane to pick him up. Then took a bath, and heard a car outside. He took out the gun to check out. Looking around, no one, he calmed down. Then he was stunned. The woman appeared outside the glass window. She held a gun, in her eyes was full of hatred. The woman didn't give him a chance, she pulled the trigger. The two people had a gunfight. The man ran away, the woman chased after. After a while, she went to the corner, and saw blood on the ground. She stepped back, turned around and chased after the man. Unexpectedly, Richard also played tricks. Finally Jen still killed that man. Let's take a summary. A gentle, charm, hot woman turns into a warrior that terrifies people. The three men carrying shotguns that bullied her were not human. Due to the violent scenes, I do not dare to show much, please sympathize. I'm Kwa Tan Long, if you like, please follow me, thanks.